So hopefully you've already downloaded, extracted, and opened the file we're going to be working with today, which is the housing.xlsx uh, Excel workbook that we've got going on here. And the first thing we're going to do after that is we're going to go to the homes sheet. We're going to select all of row one through column J. So that's A1 through J1. So I'm holding the left mouse button down uh, on cell A1, selecting all the way over to J1. And I'm going to go under the home tab and I'm going to click over here under the alignment section on merge and center. And as you can see, that makes us all one big happy cell. And we're going to go over here to the styles drop down and we're going to make this a heading one title style. For C, we're going to get cells C3 through C60, and we're going to add a thick solid line border to that one. So we're going to grab all the way down from this header right here, which is 1970, in cell C3, and we're going to go down here to C60, which is right in line with correlation. And then we're going to go up top here to the home tab and under the border uh, button drop down, which looks like a perforated square. We're going to click that drop down and we're going to select more borders. We're going to select one of these thicker black lines right here. And we're going to click on the left side of this border that we're going to make right here. And we're going to click OK. Now if we click over to another cell, we see we have a border that separates the values, which are starting in column C, from the regions and the states. And we're going to go over here to D. And we're going to format C4 through G59 as a number with no decimal places, and we're going to use a 1,000th place separator. So starting in cell C4, going all the way over to column G, and going down to 59. We've got our selection. We're going to make that a number with no decimal places. So the way we change that is you can go right here and make it a number and you can change the decimal places right there. But I'm going to go and use this button right here that'll allow me to format the number as a number using the thousand separator with no decimal places. And we're gonna click okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to format H4 through H55 as a percentage with one decimal place. So we're going to go over here in the number format and we're going to format that as a percentage with one decimal place. We're going to click OK. Then I4 through J55 are going to be a general type. I4 through J55, all the way down through that total row. We're just going to click this drop down here and make it a general type. And then C60 through G60 is going to be a number with three decimal places. So 
A, B, C, 60, through G, 60, is going to be a number with three decimal places. So we're going to select this number right here, number format. It's going to be a number with three decimal places. We're going to click OK. And that's it. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hover over the column letters right here, up at the very top, and to like see where they turn this light green. And we're going to select, by holding our left mouse button down, all of these columns, A through J, and we're going to format them right here under the cell section of the home tab in the format button the column width we're going to set that column width to 18 and we're going to click OK alright the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some conditional formatting rules and that all takes place under the home tab in the style section there's conditional formatting so we're going to select, starting in cell C4, going all the way over to G54. We're going to click the conditional formatting button right here, highlight cell rules. And we're going to go over here to the more rules button at the bottom of this list. And we're going to do cell values greater than or equal to 5 million. So you type that in without the thousands place separators. So just count the number of zeros you have like I'm doing here. So that puts us in thousands. Make sure you don't use the number pad like I just did. And that's the millions. And that's what we're looking for. And we're going to change that color to green and the text to white. So we're going to go in the format button right here. The color of the text is going to be white. And then the fill is going to be like a light green. So we're going to select OK. And that's what our cells are going to look like as they do right here. So for the next one, we're going to add another conditional formatting where if there were fewer than 500,000 homes, we're going to change the cell fill color to red and the text color to white. So I'm going to go back to our conditional formatting. We're going to make a highlight cell rule new rule with a more rules button and if it is less than 500,000 and that format is going to be a red cell fill and a white cell color so it'll look like that and that's all done in the format section. We're going to click OK. And as you can see, there were quite a few. All right, we're done with the home sheet for right now. So we're going to head on over to the home value sheet. And we're going to merge but not center our cells A1 through L1 and apply a title cell to this formatted uh, merged cell. So we're going to go to Home Values up at the very top here. So A1 through L1. Instead of clicking on the big Merge and Center button, we're going to select the drop down, And we're just going to do Merge, merge Across. 
and we're going to apply the title style to that cell and all of this is done under the home tab here's the styles and there's the drop down and then there's the merchants merge uh, button right there so the next thing we're going to do is format cells c4 through i54 as currency with no decimal place so starting in cells c4 going all the way through I-54. And we're just going to go to the number format. We're going to make that currency. And it's going to have no decimal places. That symbol is going to be a dollar sign. And we're going to click OK. And then for J4 through L54, it's going to be a general type. So we're going to go to the number format pop-up again. And there we go. It's going to be a general type. And that's it. For columns A through L, we're going to auto fit the widths. So to do that, again, we're going to select all the columns just like we did before by holding the left mouse button over uh, the letter A, going all the way over to the letter L over here in the columns. And we're going to go into the cell format and auto fit the column width. And then the next step is to apply the green, yellow, red color scale conditional formatting to cells C4 through G54. So we're going to select cells G4 through G54. And under the conditional formatting, we're going to select green, yellow, red. So under the color scales and conditional formatting of the home tab, we're going to select, just hover over these ones until you find green, yellow, red. It should be this first one up in the upper left corner. And that's it for this step. All right. So for step five, we're going to head over to the total value sheet. And we're going to set this cell right here, A1, to a size 16 or 16 points. And we're going to make cells C4 through G54 a currency type with no decimal places. So we're going to go to the number format. We're going to select currency, zero decimal places, and that's it. Make sure that the dollar is the symbol that's used right here and select OK. And then H4 through K54 are going to be a general type. So we're just going to highlight those and select those and change it to a general type. This is all happening within the Home tab under the Number section. And the last step is to set the widths of columns A through K to 18. A through J, I'm sorry. So we're going to highlight all of these columns just like we did before. And we're going to format the column width 
to 18. And then column K is going to be formatted to 33. And we're going to select OK. So this is what your sheet should look like by now. Our next stop is the forecast sheet where we're going to set the font size to 16 points for cell A1. by going right up top here to the font section of the home tab and in part B we're going to do B6 through G15 as a number with no decimal places using the 1000 separator so B6 through G15 as a number with no decimal places using the 1000 separator. So it should look like this. Okay. And then H6 through I15 is going to be currency with no decimal places. currency with no decimal places and again we're talking about US homes so we're going to be using the US dollar and we're going to auto fit the widths of columns A through I so we're going to highlight all of these and we're going to select the format Auto fit column width. And that's it for the four. So the final step before the analysis question uh, response is to actually format the analysis question sheet. So we're going to head there right now. And the first thing we're going to do is bold the contents of row one by selecting the entire row by clicking on the one when it turns uh, green and the the cursor turns into a right pointing bolded arrow and we're going to select the bold button then we are going to auto fit the width of column A and we're going to set the width of column B to 100 so I'm going to select all of column A we're going to auto fit the column width and then column B is going to be, is going to be set to, sorry, not auto fit, but a column width of 100. Then we are going to set the height for rows 2 through 20 to 110. So rows 2 through 20 are going to have a height of 110 and that should be plenty of room to answer questions now we need to change the vertical alignment for columns A and B so the text is displayed at the top of each row and we're going to turn on the text wrapping for column B so for A and B, we're going to highlight both of those. This is the vertical alignment, and we're going to make it top aligned. And then for column B, we're going to turn on text wrapping over here under the alignment section of the home tab. And now you'll answer one of the analysis questions. Or you'll just answer part A. That's it.